Hi there, I'm uh, Cameron Kunzelman. Welcome to a little Let's Play. A little, uh, little Let Us Play for uh, City Skylines. So, uh, if you've been watching some of my other YouTube videos, uh, you might have seen my Roller Coaster Tycoon video, or set of videos of Roller Coaster Tycoon, and um, I really enjoy playing that game. Um, but I'm, I'm a little bit burned out, a little bit burned down on it, honestly. So, um, I thought I'd, uh, I've put, I've put a, a, a couple, uh, 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 nothing more charming than that, but, uh, I, I've put, a uh, quite a few hours in, um, into Roller Coaster Tycoon and into this, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video of City Skylines, so... Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, this game kind of progresses forever, right? It's like kind of one of those things. You can kind of, kind of play it forever. I'm not playing in sandbox mode. You can play in sandbox mode where you have infinite money. We're going to, we're going to use money. We're going to play the game kind of proper, but I'm going to only play it till about the 10,000, uh, person mark. Uh, you can play these games kind of long and long, but for this first video, I'm going to just kind of keep it tight. I'm going to keep it tight like that. And I'm gonna kind of talk through how the video works, there, how the how the game works, and it's just gonna be a real chill time, in the same way that those roller coaster tycoon videos are a real chill time. So, my kind of plan for this city um, is that it's gonna be uh, like a a woodland city. It's it's gonna use its natural resources of trees um, to the full effect. Um, so yeah, so here at the very beginning of the game, sadly, we only have access to. Uh, this one type of road. You see, there's all kinds of types of roads in uh, in the real world. Let me tab out really quickly just to make sure everything's uh, working fine. So there's whoa, there's all kinds of uh, roads in the real world, but there's not there's not in uh, in this opening bit. So what we're gonna do? This is our connection to the highway, and these are one way connections. So this one's going this way. This one's going this way. Um, but so what we're going to do is just kind of build this out to here. And we'll build this uh, out to here. And we're going to kind of build a big square to begin with. And we'll take this all the way out. I think that's the same. And we'll connect them together. And we're going to build some kind of... Oh, oh, you know what? It's not quite the same. That's okay though. This will be our little road out, and we're gonna build some city blocks. So this, you can see all this um, kind of lattice work, I guess, out here. And what that means is that's where you can zone um, housing or whatever. So down here you have green, which is residential. So this is a measurement of demand. So how much uh, the world of the game needs these things. So very high demand for residential. This one will be blue, and it's going to be commercial, and this one is going to be uh, kind of yellow-ish, yellow-orange, and that's going to be industrial. So first, we're going to make some city blocks, and we're going to kind of maximize our space here. You can see that, uh, so you can see that the little outline in blue is saying that the, the, you know, where the zoning stretches off the street, that's where the blue is, right? So that's where your new zone is going to be. So we're trying to line it up, as you can see here, so that it uh, maximizes uh, our space in between here. So we're going to do this. We're going to get the whole thing. So we don't have that much money. I, this is not my, actually my second time recording the video, uh, just because I had some problems with the recording. Um, and uh, <laughs> I blew through all of my money very quickly. And uh, it did not end well. So all of these roads are going to get converted in a little while when I have different types of roads. Because right now we have like, these are just kind of like your standard residential streets. Um, I'll fix them later. Um, but for right now, this is what they are like. And I'm just kind of trying to Im improve this a little bit here to kind of maximize our uh, use of space. Okay, so we're going to zone all of this stuff, but um, two big things that you need in this game are uh, power, of course. A city might need power, and you need water. So we're going to, um, I'm going to, I'm taking this road out here so that we can build kind of a small industrial district. Let's see if I can build this road here. Let's just build it out. 
two. So I'm going to build a small industrial district. We'll zone it industrial. And uh, the idea will be to... Ooh, perfect. The idea will be to uh, make it kind of a forestry kind of thing. Um, but we need... Whoop, whoop, let's not do that quite yet. And we'll need a power plant. Power plants produce pollution. We'll talk about that in just a bit. So we're going to pull it out here. So let's build our power plant. Sadly, it is a, I think, coal power plant. Yeah, not the most, uh, you know, uh, world friendly. We're going to put that right there. And we're going to, um, this is a water pump. So it's going to pull water, uh, pull water out of the, uh, out of the river here. And this is uh, like just an outlet. So just kind of like spews sewage. It's real gross. You have to connect those with water pipes, and we're just going to try to get all of our water pipes uh, kind of all in one whack here. So you can see this kind of outline is uh, where the water will be. And we're down to so very little money. What we're going to need is uh, we'll have to connect this power plant to um, to the power grid. But the power grid really only begins to appear when your uh, people do, when people begin moving in. So we're going to zone all of this stuff here for housing to encourage people to move here. We're going to zone a little bit of, of it as commercial, so maybe these two blocks here. We'll do this as uh, residential because there's high demand right now. So here we go. We're going to start and we're going to accelerate time a little bit. And as we get more people in our city, uh, we're going to get more things unlocked, more abilities. And so you can see that uh, people are really loving the idea of moving in here. You notice that uh, we are massively hemorrhaging money. So we kind of have to spend it real fast here in this uh, initial state <laughs> to make sure that we can uh, afford to, like, you know, connect this. And this is profoundly ugly. Uh, from a design sense, but um, as soon as the power grid gets connected in a more natural way, so through houses or things like that, um, we'll be able to fix that. So we're going to zone this industrial really quickly, but as soon as possible, as soon as we get enough population, we're going to turn it into um, the... I can't even select it right now, I don't think, but we're going to turn it into like a, a forestry industry. So here we go, and that means that power is here. See, everyone's very excited to have power. We're losing $1,300 per week, which is bad, but the more people that move in, the more that'll kind of um, shake out, hopefully. I think we could actually solve it a little bit by taking the budget for water and power down. We could, like, take it all down to 50%. I think that's fine. It just minimizes our problems for like a couple minutes. But we should be A-OK -okay when a few more people move in. See, we have some industry coming in here. And because this power line system went through it, the power grid is already connected, you can see. So it's looking good. And so now, yeah, oh look, we're up a little bit of money. So uh, as soon as we get a couple more people moving in, I'll take those budgets back up to uh, where they should probably be. This is the night cycle. So you can see, oh, there's like uh, some city over here. Some stuff. I don't even know what that is over there. We can, can we? Oh, no, it's just a nice highway. So, yay, we're a little hamlet now. At the population of 420, like I said, we're going to shoot, or maybe I didn't say this yet, but we're going to shoot for around 10,000, and then that's that'll be when this city is, is over, and I'll do some different videos in the future. So now we can do garbage, now we can uh, give people health care, now we can give people basic education, and we can increase our taxes and we can get a loan. Both of those are very important. We also uh, got like a little bumper of about $20,000. So I'm pausing really quickly just to take these budgets back up to their... 100% land, not 101%. Take all of this back up, and we're going to build a landfill. 
And we already kind of have a spot where we're going to take these uh, taxes up to 12% across the board. Boop, 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 boop. And uh, so we've already got, we can look at pollution somewhere here. Pollution. So industry pollutes and uh, this coal thing pollutes. And of course this dumping raw sewage <laughs> into the river pollutes. And uh, sadly, garbage collection also pollutes. But we can kind of make this a little pollution zone. This big circle around is basically telling you this is going to poison the area. Um, on one hand, trees kind of help fix that. Um, so that's really good. On the other hand, this is not really on the other hand, just in addition to that, why I'm not as concerned about polluting right over here is I'm going to build this industry back this way. So this is going to, this whole area is going to be, um, where we're building our, uh, kind of woodland industry. So I'm okay with polluting right here, at least for now, until we can get, uh, the next level of things, which is an incinerator. There's also room for this, this, uh, road to kind of keep going. So that's that's nice as well um so yeah now we um have the choice to build either a clinic or a school schools are really going to help everybody out they're going to make them a lot happier you can kind of see their area of influence by the green here so if i built it in the middle you get a little bit more impact if i built it here you're really just getting this corner of the town but i'm probably going to expand this way and probably back this way a little bit so that's kind of okay so that costs 10000 and the clinic costs ten as well. So we could really only afford one right now because I want to fiddle with these streets a little bit. So we're going to just build the school. It makes everybody very happy. And I want to... Um, so now I have different roads. Ooh la la. What a great time. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use the road upgrade tool over here, which is basically turning a road into another type of road so you don't have to to demolish things and build them back. I'm going to build a one-way road all the way around here. This is going to be kind of a loop all the way around. And mostly that'll mean that people are turning here. That'll be okay. And you have to actually zoom in because sometimes it flips the road the wrong way. So we're going to make this kind of a big loop all the way around. Yeah, see, this is going the wrong way. So you can right-click and kind of flip it. And I don't think this will hurt anything. I think this will make uh, traffic a little bit easier. And of course, people will cut through all the other roads, but this kind of provides a major through affair for the uh, the trucks coming from our industry. Uh-oh. Getting a little bit of weird lag here. There we go. And... Yeah, all right, so that's all connected and looking great. So let's unpause that. And so people will go around here. They can always make this kind of loop, boop, 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 but hopefully they won't. Let's take the speed up. I, I kind of play this game on, uh, on super fast because I prefer to. And when, we, uh, when we're kind of rolling a little bit more money, we're going to... Uh, Build a clinic over here. In fact, we could we could probably just do that, and we'll be down to. We have the ability to get uh, at least one loan, maybe two loans at this point. So we're we're doing pretty good as far as things are concerned. I'm gonna build this right here, and it'll be able to impact a pretty big area here. Looking great, giving people health care. When this little thing, that little blue, kind of splooch that happens the bubble that there um means that the house is leveling up it's getting a little bit better meaning that more people are moving in or they're making more money or they're just generally happier i think healthcare probably makes people happy we can't build districts yet districts are going to be really important for us but uh we're kind of waiting on the demand for residential to increase so we could really get uh really get working on that. And our city's going to kind of go this way. I think I think the idea hopefully would be to from this area build a big arc over here and then connect up here and then have the industry be over here, maybe a new industry town and then the old industry town over here. You can see the pollution in the light of day. There's this kind of smog effect. 
it covers all of these things, and it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty gross, to be fair. Someone's building a new thing. What's that? What's that all about? Oh, just a little, little ranch-style home. So we're a worthy village now, which means we get all kinds of stuff. Um, a, we can build more city or buy more area for the city. I'm not super concerned about that right now. Um, we can do districts, which is important. And we can get fire and police and unique buildings. We also get additional loans. So I'm going to pause it again. Boop, boop, boop. We also have way more roads available to us now. Which is exciting. Ooh, roundabout. What a great time to be alive. Okay. So, um, so yeah, looking, just thinking kind of macro here. Nope, we still, we still need that. I was gonna, I thought maybe we could delete this, but, so what we want to do, um, is first we want to make this into a district over here. So I'm going to use my district drawing tool. Boop, boop, boop. And we'll kind of move it over here because theoretically this is all going to be industry and it names it Garland Heights. We're going to call this uh, Tree Town. And our city currently is named Rock Valley, but uh, I want to call it I want to call it Friendship Village, which is which is a fun and fancy free town. So. Uh, now that we have a district over here, right? So we can have districts either A, have certain policies. So I can uh, click on it here and I can give it particular kinds of policies. Um, so I'm going to give it smoke detector distribution. That's actually going to be a policy for the whole city. Uh, it costs money, but it reduces your fires. and It's uh, totally worth it. But the real important thing here is that when you have uh, industry districted, into a discrete district, you can tell them what kind of industry to be. And because we have such a great natural resource of trees here, it's a renewable natural resource, which I find important. Um, you can tell them, hey, so these are the policies and kind of the way that the thing works. You can say, hey, make this about trees. So this generic, generic polluty industry is going to all get torn down, which is kind of bad for like a hot minute. But then it flips around and it becomes um, something a little bit better. It becomes this kind of uh, forestry industry. So that's that. We also have the ability to build a fire department now. A little, little fire firehouse, which is uh, kind of a big deal. I'm going to demolish this house. Is that is that bad? Let's see where I could put it. I could put it here and then they're able to come back down the street. So it seems good. We'll put that right there, and then we will put a police station in the same spot. We have an education, but actually people are not being educated very well, so I don't have any money. I'm going to spend some loan money. I'm going to grab a loan. We'll pay that back. That, that doesn't seem to be a problem. We have enough of a budget surplus. So I'm going to put a, put a school down here, too. Just make every, everyone's going to school over here. And let's uh, get going. So yeah, so that's going to make people... Oh, this house immediately caught on fire. So let's uh, see what happens. So yeah, firefighters come out. They do what the firefighters do. And uh, it worked out. Worked out great. This is one-way street. It seems to be working really well, right? So this truck is going to come down. And uh, it's going to get on this road. It's going to get over here. I'm going to go ahead and... So you can make a six-lane road. You can make a four-lane road. They each have different upkeep costs. Um, and they make different types of noise, I believe. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this over here to a four-lane road. Just because it seems like for industry, that might be an important thing. So remember before... We got all this industry over here, and then it disappeared, but now it's uh, being rebuilt. It's kind of a lumber mill kind of thing. And they grow their trees, and uh, they chop them down. And it's, there's much less pollution. This is uh, There's some still, um, and there's also residual pollution that happens from the previous industries, but much less polluty industry kind of across the board. Lots of people are building new houses, and you can see that the our... Uh, demands are uh, shifting down there, what people want. 
So what we can do here... So we have six lane, one way roads now, which is exciting. So one option now, this now we get into like design and kind of thinking, uh, kind of on a macro level. So one, one solution here would be to upgrade all the way down through here, this two lane road, or at least all the way to a certain point, maybe to here, and then one way all the way here, and then make this a bigger one way street over here. I'm not uh, not quite convinced yet. Well, we can wait it out a little bit. So our residential demand is huge now. So we're gonna go ahead and extend the city. Whoops. While my cat uh, destroys my house. We're gonna go ahead and extend this um, the city uh, kind of over here. I wanna go ahead and build a roundabout. I could build a roundabout right here. Because this is going to get very complicated very quickly. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to move this medical clinic. I'm going to move it... Let's move it back here. So that makes everyone unhappy and then happy again, which is fine. And this is a small roundabout. And I, I'm, I want to put it right here. So I need to kind of delete some streets. This could go very, very wrong. Um... I want to be very open about the fact that uh, often I'm just straight terrible at this game. I make bad decisions sometimes, um, but I'm also willing to own up to those decisions. So let's say right here looks looks about right to me. And so this is a one-way street that needs to go here, and it'll be that's in the right direction. And that looks that looks about right. There's not a lot of curvature that had to happen there. It's maybe rotated a little bit. Yeah, there's some weird rotational issues here, but that's okay. Where'd you get down? Um, so we'll connect these streets back up. Boop boop boop. That's the one. And then we will um, go here and see if we can upgrade this. Can we? Yeah. Here we go. And then we'll delete this little piece and just draw it anew. It's just a little bit simpler. So you can already see that like the grid-like nature is is broken because I'm not, I'm you know, I'll be honest, I'm not that great at the grid-like nature of the game. I'm a little more free-flowing kind of guy, but but we can make this a one-way so people can't come into it from here. They have to come from this angle over here. So it forces a particular kind of movement and let's go ahead and turn this into a one-way as well so it like really forces traffic over here so there's only one way to come in and there's only one way to come out from this sector over here so we've got that um, so we can pull this out straight If you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you really like this video, go down to the description and click the link to take you to my Patreon page, where for as little as a dollar a month you can help me make more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.